So Senator Tim Scott of South Carolina is running to be president in 2024 under the GOP ticket, right? Now, if you don't know, maybe you did know, he is not married, never has been married. He's 57 years old. Now, you also know that the Republican Party is supposed to be the family values party, right? They're big time Christians and all of that. And so lately, people, especially people on his side of the aisle, are like, wait a minute now, what's going on? You ain't never been married? Do you want to be married? Or like, what? What's going on here? <laughs> and so at an evangelical meeting in Iowa, the attorney general said, you know, basically, besides your mama, is there a special young lady in your life? And then Tim Scott goes on to say, why, yes, I'm dating a lovely Christian girl. Then they said he got on his knee and pretended to pray, and then he got up laughing, which to me is like a smoke screen, because why are you playing, right? And who is this lovely young Christian um, girl that you're dating? All right, so I guess he said and what he had to do to kind of get the heat up off of him. But this is what I had a problem with um, after he said all of that. Listen to this. As a guy who was raised in a single parent household, mired in poverty, I understand that devastation when a family breaks up. I live with the consequences of a father who was not there. I made a commitment to make sure that never happened in my life. I'm so thankful to know a risen savior that has helped guide my way. And I'm so thankful that he's allowed my life to intersect at the right time with the right person. And I just say, Praise the living God. Really, Timmy? Really? So you're going to not throw your black daddy under a bus because you aren't married at the age of 57? I see, because one thing, I, listen, I can't stand people who lie to kick it. That ain't got nothing to do with your daddy. See, the real problem is, and I, I don't care what he does in his bedroom, some people are speculating whether he is LGBTQ, right? That's his business if he is. The problem with that, if he was, is the Republicans don't really cut for that too much, right? So he can't really just, and I'm not saying he is, you know, that's just what they're saying. He can't really come out and say that because then his party is going to raise an eyebrow, but like, wait a minute, that, that ain't what we advocate. So now all of a sudden he's got this good Christian, you know, girl that he's dating when it's like, man, y'all gonna get married before the elections because that's, you know, a little more than a year from now. So you got to get engaged because you didn't say you was engaged. Then you got to get married, whether you're going to jump the broom, go to the courthouse or whatever you're going to do. And, and, and on top of campaigning. So are you going to be married by then? Because as we know, they like, you know, people married in and, and, and there's never been a president that has never been married. So if he won, which would be a long shot, he would be the first. So I don't know. But again, you ain't got to blame your black daddy because for whatever reason, you ain't married. Whatever that reason is, that's your business, not your daddy's fault. So anyway, y'all tell me what you think of that. And for more insightful commentary, please subscribe to this channel and my channel, The Demetri K Show here on YouTube. Peace.